Hi, and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. I'm your host, Kerry Garrison, and today I'm going to kind of revisit a topic on exporting individual clips for stock footage with some good information that you may need to make sure that your exports always work properly. So stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, so in the original video I did on this, which is completely valid, everything is correct about it, but there's a couple times where things won't work quite right. And it's usually certain types of edits from the edit page, not so much the color page, but the edit page. One of them that you'll run into all the time is gonna be speed ramping. And that will just irritate you to no end. So. Let's go here and I'm gonna open this up and I'll just quickly add a speed point and I'll add a speed point here at the end. And then I'll crank these, crank this really fast. So if I go and do this, so now let's, do a quick playback here, and there's our speed ramp. And then at the end, it's gonna go ahead and slow down. So if you use the individual clips output function, that speed ramp is not going to be there. It's going to revert back to the standard speed. So if you had an edit that needed to be sped up or slowed down, whatever it was that you're doing, and you use individual clips, it's not gonna work. Fortunately, there's a very, very easy fix for this. And what we do is we just right click on the clip and we go new compound clip. That's all you have to do. Now we go to our output and we give it a name, Coors Field, and we want to make sure we have unique file names turned on. I turn off add source frame count to file name. I don't care about that. I'm going to check my video section here. And for my stock out my stock footage, I select select render at source resolution and unless I was doing some zooms or pans or things. Well, then uh, I may have shot in 4K, but I'm probably going to export at 1080. But as long as I'm not doing anything like that, I'm going to do render at source resolution so I get the best uh, quality I can, add it to my render queue, and start my render process. So now this will take about a minute to render here on my 2016 MacBook Pro. And when it's done, now I have a finished clip with the speed ramping in it, ready to upload to my stock footage sites. Now, I only use one stock footage site, and that's blackbox.global. I have a link down in the description below, and I put it in one place, and that footage goes to Adobe Stock, Video Block, or Shutter, yeah, Shutter Stock, Video Blocks, Adobe Stock, and Vimeo stock. So five different agencies my footage goes out to. I only have to put it on one. I add my keywords, my descriptions, all that stuff. And Blackbox takes care of the rest and it goes out to all the different sites that are out there or the five main sites that are out there. I don't have to worry about uploading it each time and doing all the keywording every time and copying and pasting and all that. One place, do it all at blackbox.global. Again, use the description or use the link down in the description below and get yourself signed up. It's great for you to go back and mine your old footage. I make money off footage that I shot years ago by getting it up and putting it online and not recouping some money from it, which is always a cool thing. Your footage isn't doing you any good sitting on a hard drive. So get it up on Black Box and maybe start making some income off of it. So that's all there was to it with this video was if you have problems with your exports, doing zooms, pans, and speed ramps, those types of things, and it's not preserving that when you do the export individual clips, just remember, turn it into a compound clip 
and you are good to go. That's all there is to it for today. Nice short video. Hope you guys have had a fantastic holiday season and happy new year to everybody. And we will be back and strong and going like crazy here in 2019. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure and check that bell icon so you get notified whenever we do a new video. This has been Carrie. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.